Good day, everybody. Alongside Diamondbacks insider Nick Picaro, I'm Jay. This is the shot clock, and you look really good today out there. Yeah. Hey, let's start the clock. Hey, Nick, um, something that doesn't look really good right now, 40% of the Diamondbacks rotation. Uh, Taiwan Walker already gone for the year. Robbie Ray, a strained oblique. We don't know how long he'll be out. Um, any quick updates on the timeline here with Robbie? Yeah, we'll see. He's supposed to get an MRI on Monday morning, so I would think that by the evening, by the afternoon, we'll have a better sense. Um, and that's if the Diamondbacks want to be straightforward, which they often aren't when it comes to injuries. But I'm thinking it's not going to be a, a quick one. I mean, it's probably six to eight weeks at least. Oof. That is something they can't afford to lose right now. Tell me a little bit about what they are going to be missing with Taiwan Walker and then with Robbie Ray. Yeah, I mean, I think with Taiwan, it's it's really just a matter of the consistency that he brought on a start-to-start -start basis. If you set aside that game one in the division series last year, he really didn't have very many bad starts. Even like earlier this year, he had that one first inning against the Dodgers and then wound up going five innings. He kept teams in the game, or kept his team in the game. Right. Uh, Robbie, that's that's a different story. I mean, it's just pure dominance. It's a guy that that you know when he's right, you could count on him pretty much every fifth day to to give you six really dominant innings and, and essentially put you in really good position to win. Right, and I so you were with the team over the weekend in Washington, and I saw that Robbie Ray did say he was really starting to feel good right now. So it's just right. real bad timing, and the timing falls into place now because the Dodgers come to town, followed by the Astros. Zach Greinke takes the hill tonight. We'll see if he can rescue this team like a staff ace should. What are some of the replacement options, though, for Robbie Ray's spot in the rotation? Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what they're going to do. They've got a few guys on the 40-man roster that could make some sense, and, and Braden Shipley, although he hasn't thrown that great right. his last couple. Uh, they claimed a guy named Troy Scribner off waivers uh, a few weeks back. Uh, again, he hasn't thrown all that well. Chris Medlin, Taylor Clark, guys in, in Reno that don't have great numbers, but, but you know maybe they don't have anywhere else to turn. So for the next six weeks, maybe it's hold your breath, Diamondbacks fans. You are off to a historically great start. Not since 1907 has a team won all nine of its opening series of, to start a season. Let's, uh, let's hope you guys have some luck. For Nick, I'm Jay. Have a great day.